Hi everybody, today you are going to need a pencil and a skinny sharpie, red, dark green, light green, and yellow crayons. Let's get started. First, you are gonna draw a small oval up towards the top of your paper. Then, you are going to start drawing your petals, and these petals are long droplets. So it's two long lines, it has a curve at the end, and these are gonna go all the way around your daisy. Press pause and add your petals. Now in some of your spaces between your flowers, but not all of them, you are gonna add an extra loop so it looks as though your daisy has two layers of petals. But remember, don't go around all of them. Next, we are gonna draw our long stem. These are gonna be two long, skinny, parallel lines. And for our leaves, you're gonna do one big rainbow shape. And on the bottom, one big smiley face shape. Don't forget to put a little vein in the middle. My vein likes to be a rainbow, but it can also be a frowny face. Or sorry, a smiley face. Next, you're gonna Sharpie all of your lines, your oval, two little small lines inside your oval, your petals, your stems, and your leaf. Press pause and finish up your Sharpie. Now that you're finished with Sharpie, grab your eraser. You can erase any extra lines you happen to see after you used your Sharpie. Let's add some color. First, we're gonna start off with our yellow crayon. You're gonna color in the center of your daisy. Color nice and neat. After your center is colored in, I want you to grab a brown crayon and you're gonna go just around the outside edge of that oval, very gentle. Next, we're gonna use our dark green crayon and you're gonna color down one side of your stem and the bottom of your leaf, as well as along the bottom of your vein. Blend some of those colors up just a little bit. That way when we add in our light green at the top of everything, we can blend into that darker green. And we want our daisy to look white, so we are gonna add a little bit of a light color in the background. I chose green because my favorite color is green, but you can choose any color you want. Maybe you wanna do blue or pink or even yellow. But by just adding a little bit of color behind our daisy, our daisy starts to look more white because we didn't color it.
As you're finishing the space around your daisy, go back and add just a little more longer lines so that you don't have a bubble around your daisy, but more of a glow around your daisy. Thank you so much for learning how to draw daisies with me today. I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget, as always, you have to sign your name in the bottom of your paper and remember to always be kind, be creative, and be safe. Join us on our Painting with a Purpose page. You can always watch tutorials on our Painting with a Purpose channel.